Hi people, you're welcome to Pro Masterclass. My name is Tola Labi. Today we're going to be talking about how many logo options you should present to a client. Now in my last class, I discussed how to present a logo to get a client's approval. And I got quite a lot of feedback on that class and I want to thank everyone who sent a comment or a question um, concerning that topic. But one question that kept on recurring was the question of how many logos should I present to a client? Most people ask that question. How many logos should I be presenting to a, to a client? Should I be presenting five logos, three logo options? Um, and a lot of people wanted to know what I thought was the ideal number of logos to present to a client. Well, personally, I only present one logo per time to my client. Um, yes, I said in that video that I, sta I started out presenting three logo options, four logo options, five logo options to clients, but I realized it just wasn't working. And I made up my mind that I would only be presenting one logo per time to my clients. And I, 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 I'm, I'm a strong believer in focused energy rather than scattered energy. And that applies a lot to um, logo design also. Um, I really cannot get my mind around how people would design five logo options, even three logo options, two logo options to, to a client, especially knowing how Nigerian clients especially work. Um, you would hardly find a Nigerian client who would give you anything over a month to work on a logo design. And, and those, are, those are even the generous clients that will give you a month. Most clients will not give you anything more than a couple of days and at most a week and I don't see how anyone can do logo design the way it should be done properly and present five options in a couple of days or in a week. Now logo design is something that takes a lot of research, um, a lot of, um, of thinking, a lot of coming up with an idea and I don't see how a single designer can can achieve presenting five, four, three, two ideas in that short period of time, and and that is why I personally decided to stop presenting more than one design per time to a client. Now, one thing I usually do is, oh, oh, yes, I do have clients approach me and tell me, look. I want you to, to present us with two or three options um, before we choose one. And I, and I tell them from the get-go, I tell them I do not do options. I only present one design. But I would give you an option, and that would be the option of you have the choice of approving the design or overhauling design or asking me to make edits to the design. Now, I, I tell them I'm going, to, I'm going to present them with only one, one design, but I'm going to give them three options. Now, now they, that, that option, they have the option of either saying, yes, we like this design, we want to go ahead with it, or they can say, we like this design, but there are some things we would like you to change, we would like you to edit, or you can say, we do not like the design, we would like you to go back to the drawing board. And in that case, I would have to go back and work on another one design. And that is what I feel works if you are going to, if you are going to present a logo design to a client. If you have no problem designing multiple options for a client, then I strongly feel there must be something wrong with your process. If you have the option of um, if you have no problem uh, um, presenting five options to a client in a span of a week or two weeks or even a month, then 
I strongly feel there is something wrong with your process is either you are recycling your old jobs for the client or cutting corners and downloading vectors or or just ripping off other people's design and, and presenting to the client. It, it, is very, it is very difficult for anyone to do a proper logo and present more than one option to, to a client. Now, you might, you might be t saying to yourself that you, you've heard of big companies that, that do more than one option, but, but you must be aware of the fact that these big companies also have dozens of designers working with them. So they can have six designers working on a particular project per time. So each designer would have the chance of working on one option for that client. So they can present six options comfortably. But I don't see how a company like mine, which is just one designer, which is just me, would have to present, compare myself to that company that has a lot of designers as their staff and um, presenting six options to a client and six good options to a client, six well thought out options to a client. I, I, I think that would, be, that would be very, very unlikely and very unfair for me as um, a single designer to, to do that. I don't think my client will be getting the best from me by doing that. So I always present one option. I, just, I, I really believe that's the way to go. But if you want to present more than one option, then I would say hire two or three more designers that can work on this project too. And, and then you will know each person is giving their best to the project. Each person is giving their full attention to building one design. Then you can all present each of your designs to the client and then you can have the client choose. But having one person design one, um, multiple logos just wouldn't work. I, I, I once read about um, Chemayev and Geisman, and, and they talked about how they des develop their ideas. And they say when they get a brief, each of them goes and works on the brief, and they have about three briefs, uh, um, um, three, three options, and they present that to the client. And, and that works for them because they, are, they have a number of designers working with them. So that will work beautifully for them. So that is what I do when I present logos to client. I only present one, one um, design to a client per time, which they are, they are given the opportunity to either accept, edit, or overhaul. And, and that way I have, I have the liberty to focus on one design without going to the fatigue of trying to make up the numbers and just doing design just to make up the numbers. And, and one thing you realize is when you do design in that way where you're just trying to make up the numbers, there's a tendency of the client who is not a designer and might not really have any good design sense to choose the worst design that you've presented to him. I have a lot of people tell me, I presented five logos to the client and the client actually chose the worst one. Well, what do you expect the client to choose? The, the client is not a designer. You are the one that is meant to prefer the solution to the client and tell the client why you are preferring this solution. Um, logo design is, is solution-based. It, it, it is not a guessing game. Um, it is something, and I believe when, when, you, when you present just um, one logo, you come with a confident front like you know what it is you are presenting to the client. But when you are, when you are presenting multiple um, options to the client, then, then, and then it's more, more like guesswork. It's more like if, if you don't like this, then you might like this. I'm not really sure if this works. You understand? So, so you, you must be confident as, as, as a designer. And I, don't, I, I do not see how you can prepare um, a good logo presentation like the one... I, I spoke about in my last class and write about your idea and write about five ideas and be able to convince the client. When you're writing about an idea, it's one idea that you're presenting to the client and you're telling the client, you're trying to convince the client about why that idea works. So um, I, I, I really hope that answers the question. But I wouldn't say that is what you should do as a designer. Do what works for you, but I feel that is what works for me. 
presenting one logo design and I, I, I realized that since when I started presenting one logo to the client, I've got a lot of my logos approved as opposed to the, to the period when I was presenting multiple options to the client. So I really hope I've been able to shed some light on the topic of how many options you should be presenting to a client. Remember, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment. If you have a difference of opinion on this topic, feel free to drop a comment. If you have any topic on the business of design that you want us to discuss, drop a comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and share the video. I'll see you in the next class.